Hi there. In this video, let's look at an important Eclipse feature called Perspectives. Perspectives, in the last video, we looked at views. Views are basically whatever you're seeing is a package. Explorer is a view. Problems is a view. Java doc is a view. Declaration is a view. And task list and outline are also views. And these views actually like show the absolute, uh, I mean, the output aspect. If you look at the outline, the view is showing what are the what is the outline for this particular class which is opened uh, in the in the uh, editor window so uh, if you look at these views the way they are arranged here are in a way where it's very easy for me to code so if you look at this particular structure of views my package explorer is on the left the outline is on the right and i have my problems listed at the bottom so this perspective which we are looking at, this combination of arrangements of all these views is called a perspective. So I have a view like package explorer on the left, uh, task list, the outlines, problems. This perspective is called a Java perspective. So perspective is just uh, like you can think of perspective as a, diff like, uh, a name given to an arrangement of views. So when I'm probably writing a Java program, I would want to see uh, like what are the I would want to see the package explorer to see what are the other files which are present in here probably I would want to see if there are any errors and probably I would want an outline so these are the things which are important in the Java perspective uh, there are other perspectives which are available in Java let's say I just open another perspective called debug perspective which is useful for you to debug Java programs if you look at it the entire views which you are seeing completely changes so now the views which you see are breakpoints, expressions, and variables. We'll learn about the debug perspective in detail a little later. But when I'm debugging a program, these are the things which are important for me. The views which are important for me when I'm trying to debug are breakpoints, expressions, and variables, and also this debug window. So in that sense, uh, basically these perspectives, like uh, the perspectives are basically different arrangement of views. So in the debug perspective, you would see all the things that are important when you are trying to debug a program. So whenever I'm trying to debug a program, I would prefer to go to Windows, open perspective, and I would do other and select debug from it. So this is how I would select a debug perspective. If I'm writing a Java program, probably you'd want to prefer to go to a Java perspective where it's more comfortable to see everything and you can code whatever you would want to uh, one more perspective which is useful is when you're trying to read a particular program. Let's say I want to uh, look at, a, I'm probably using this project for the first time. I use a perspective called Java browsing. This helps me to actually browse through everything. Now I can actually go through super method one and see what is the code present in there. Or I can go to this class and see what are the different things which are present in here. It just helps me to browse the whole thing faster. It may, helps me to get uh, idea of what are the different things which are present in this particular package. Let's say I would want to do that. I just go here. It shows the different projects. Then you have the packages. Then you have the different classes, that's types. And you have the different members that are present. So this helps me to, this perspective, which is open perspective other, it's Java browsing. This is helpful to just browse through a list of programs. There is one more perspective which is, which I find useful. That's called Java type hierarchy this java type hierarchy is useful when you would want to see uh, like a hierarchy i mean you would want when you have a subclass superclass relationship between classes when you have inheritance relationship between classes and you would want to see uh, what is the relationship between different classes in a particular project you can do that using type hierarchy all that you need to do is uh, like I go to the like i what i did is go to window open perspective other and i went to the type hierarchy uh, Java type hierarchy and press enter and it would open this up and then I would uh, like if I want to uh, like let's say I want to um, see the entire hierarchy for a project then I would do window show view a package explorer and then I can pull the package into the type hierarchy so now if you look at it what did I do is I pull this package and I actually put it into type hierarchy so now if you look at it, it shows the type hierarchy for all the things. So it, it shows what are the different classes which are present, what is the hierarchy which is present. And if you look at it, there's a call cl class called cat, which is actually extending an animal. So it's showing the hierarchy. 
and in terms in uh, like if you look at everything all the classes actually extend object so this completely shows the hierarchy of all the classes which are present in that particular project this is useful also again when you are trying to understand a project completely when I, when let's say you are getting familiarized with a project you can use this type hierarchy uh, perspective so the important perspectives which we looked at in this particular uh, video are a Java perspective Java perspective is normally used when you are trying to code something so whenever I do some coding I would probably do the coding and then uh, I would do uh, like a control M which is to minimize and then I can find whichever things I would want to find while I'm coding and if I'm doing a debug of the program then I would uh, prefer to go be in a debug perspective I would do an open perspective and debug uh, the other perspectives which we looked at are Java browsing which is useful to browse the entire project and uh, what are the classes which are present in there what are the methods in there and the other perspective which we looked at was Java type hierarchy Java type hierarchy is very useful to look at the uh, subclass relationships and the inheritance relationships between classes the other perspectives like CVS JIT if you are familiar with source control uh, those perspectives would be easy for you to update your code into source control or uh, get the latest version from the source control um, there you go that's about perspectives this video is part of a series of videos discussing various features in Eclipse different shortcuts and also tips to improve your productivity if you like this video show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video we are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak subscribe to stay updated thanks for watching until next time bye